The blue fairy's fun. Hello, my fairy friends. Happy Halloween. I know I'm just going crazy with the Halloween videos, but I have to tell you, I saw this when I picked up this pumpkin the other day and I thought, oh my goodness, I have to do a video about this. Um, there Now the Teal Pumpkin Project is about instead of food treats or edible treats, it is non-edible treats such as like mini toys, mini stickers, things like that. So I picked that up and I also saw this teal pumpkin decorating kit. And what it is, is it's just paint to paint real pumpkins, you know, and decorate them in this color. So what you do is for the teal pumpkin project is you put out a teal pumpkin or a pumpkin this color. It doesn't have to be a real one, can be a fake one like we're gonna do. Um, and it, what it does is it lets trick-or-treaters know that you have non-food items available for trick-or-treat. This kit was $4 at Target. And what it comes with, it says it has one paint pouch, one applicator, and it has a couple of little things here that you can put on your pumpkin, like the one that's pictured that says Happy Halloween, that's what these are. It's little stickers that you can put. I would recommend, if you don't find a kit like this, maybe go to your craft store like Joanne Fabric or something like that and pick up, you know, something close to this color, teal. Let's get moving. So pretty much what we need is just your teal paint, an applicator, I don't know how this is gonna work. You're gonna need a lot of water because you don't want the paint to go on thick. Um, some water here to rinse your brush, a paper towel to dab. You'd rather it be thin than too thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the back just to kind of see how it starts to go on. And oh, that's going on pretty good. That's a little too drippy. Ugh. Okay, let's dab. <laughs> is definitely something that's going to take a couple of coats. Because I'm not used to using these big old honking applicators. <laughs> gotta be and this I mean even though you're using a lot of water with this you've got to be careful because you don't want it to go into this like little light area that it has because I wouldn't want to damage you know the circuitry or you know what have you with water before I even get to use it I don't, I've never done custom jobs that much but I have to say I've been inspired by things that I see by some of my favorite YouTubers and you know it's it kind of it makes you realize that you know even if you mess up you gotta keep trying and it's almost 99% of the time fixable so don't be afraid to make your own little things and to just try things you gotta start somewhere so that's why I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it this is a dingy pumpkin anyway that I've seen so I'm gonna make him, give him a new life here. Make him look super cool. Okay, so that's the first coat. So we will let him dry see where we go from there. I just want to be really careful around this stem because I don't want to have to repaint it. That's the end of our second coat. 
So we need to let that completely dry so we can begin to apply more. And as you can see, the streaks are starting. I mean, it's still kind of streaky, but the more coats you put on it, the more I think it'll begin to go away. And what we can also do is I may go ahead and try a regular paintbrush because I really don't like this applicator, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start the third coat of paint. Okay, so the third coat is dry. I went ahead and put on the fourth coat. And now what I'm doing is touching up some of the black within the eyes, the edges of the nose, and the insides of the mouth. Because I could cover it up with that glow paint, but I'm not sure what kind of coverage that paint is going to have. So I kind of want it to look as clean as possible. So that's what I'm doing right here along these edges, the nose, that kind of thing. I've just mostly done the bottom edges for now. Okay, well, so now we just need to wait for this last coat to completely dry. And then what we're going to put on is this DuraClear Matte Varnish. And I didn't want it too shiny. They also have a um, shiny uh, varnish where it's very glossy. and But I kind of didn't want it to be super glossy. And you can get this like at Walmart or Joanne Fabric or Hobby Lobby. And they're relatively inexpensive, maybe less than a dollar. Some of them, sometimes they're about a little over a dollar. But I don't think you would pay more than a dollar fifty for something like this. Um, so once we do that, we'll be ready to put on the varnish and put it outside for trick or treat. Yay! So what we're going to do in the meantime is go ahead and use this DuraClear matte varnish just to kind of seal everything and make it nice and help it last forever and ever. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just applying it straight out from, I just put it on like a little cardboard piece from the box and I'm, but I didn't dilute it. I didn't water it down. I just kind of wet the brush and going from there. So let's see how it turns out. So here is the final product, the teal pumpkin. And I'll turn off the light so we can see if it glows. Is the final product, the teal pumpkin. And that's what it looks like with the little light inside of it on. Well, thank you for watching, fairy friends. Tune into my next video and be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss one. Bye!